And what we need to calculate is we need to calculate the average distance, yeah, or the average difference, okay? So to do that, to calculate an average is quite simple, okay, we know that, okay? To calculate an average, okay, all we have to do is, oops, let's do that again, okay? To calculate an average, uh, all we have to do is we sum up the values and we divide by how many there is. In this case, also, where d bar is simply equal to the sum of the differences divided by our sample size. So what we're just going to do here is we're going to add up these values here, okay? Uh, that's minus 12 plus minus 1 gives us minus 13, plus 1 gives us minus 12, plus minus 9 uh, gives us minus 21, plus 1 gives us minus 20, plus minus 5 gives us minus 25, and plus minus 4 gives us minus 29 okay so this value here okay that we've just calculated okay this value here is the sum of the differences okay so what we now have is this is that what we have now is that d bar okay d bar is equal to the, the sum of the differences which is minus 29 okay divided by the sample size and in this case that's how many paired observations we have and we have one two three four five six seven we have eight observations so we have n n is equal to eight okay so we're going to divide that by eight let's just get a calculator for that okay so it's minus 29 divided by eight gives us a value of gives us an average of minus of minus 3.625 okay so now that we've calculated this particular average, the average difference, okay, okay, what we need to do is we need to now calculate the standard deviation. And to calculate the standard deviation, what we need to do is for every for every difference that we've that we've observed, okay, we need to take away the average difference, okay, uh, and then we need to square it, okay. So actually, what I'm going to calculate here is d minus d bar squared, okay, and don't forget where d bar is equal to minus 3.62. So that's a minus times a minus is going to be a plus. So effectively, we're adding on 3.625 to our differences. Okay. Uh, so the first one is going to be, we have minus 12 minus, okay, minus 3.625. Okay. That gives us a value of minus, minus 8.375. And when I square that, that gives me a value of approximately 70.14. So let me just put that down to two decimal places. It's approximately 70.14, okay? The next value is going to be zero minus, minus 3.625, which is going to be 3.625. 3.625 to be squared is going to give us a value of approximately uh, 13.14, okay? The next value is minus 1, okay? Minus 1 plus 3.625. Don't forget the minus times this minus here is going to be a plus. So it's minus 1 plus 3.625 is 2.625. So it's 2.625 to be squared. Gives us a value of approximately uh, approximately uh, 6.89, okay? The next value is going to be a plus 1. Once again, plus 1 minus the minus gives us a plus so it's one plus 3.625 which gives us 4.625 and when i square that that gives me a value of approximately approximately uh, 21.39 then we have minus nine okay minus minus 3.625 so it's minus nine plus 3.625 so let me put that in it's minus nine plus 3.625 gives us a value of uh, minus 5.375, and that needs to be squared, so when we square that, that gives us a value of approximately uh, 28.89, okay? And then we have one minus the minus 3.625, which is gonna be the same as in this case here, okay? Uh, it's going to be, let me just see, one, two, three, four, okay? So it's gonna be one plus that gives us the four, so we're actually gonna end up with 21.39 here. Then we have minus five, so we have minus five, okay, plus 3.6, 3.625, okay, gives us a value of that, and when we square it, that gives us a 1.89, so that's 1.89 here, and then finally we have minus four plus 3.625, so it's minus four plus 3.625, don't forget the plus is because it's a minus times the minus average here, yeah, and then when we square that, we get a value of, uh, in this case, we get a 0.1. One four, okay. 
Uh, now, what we need to do is, oh, sorry, this should be the sum of, okay, the sum of them, the stem squared uh, differences, okay? So what I need to do is I need to sum up this column here, so let me do that. So I have 70.14, okay, plus 13.14, okay, plus 6.89, plus 21.39, plus 28.89, plus 21.39, plus 1.89 plus 0 0.14 gives us a summation here of approximately 163.87. So what we now know is this, is that our standard deviation, okay, our S of D, okay, uh, is equal to the sum of these differences, these square differences, which is 163.87 divided by the sample size, which is 8 minus 1, and it's the square root that particular value there. Okay. Well, 8 minus 1 is 7, so I'm going to divide my 163.87, I'm going to divide that by 7, okay, uh, which gives me a value to two decimal places of 23.42. So it's the square root of 23.4, sorry, 23.41. So the square root of 23.41 okay, is equal to, that's approximately equal to uh, 4.84 to two decimal places. So now what we have is we have our, our mean value, okay, we have our standard deviation, and now we're ready to run the hypothesis test, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold these values over here, okay, and what we'll do is we'll run the hypothesis test and we see how we 